Good evening and thank you all for being with us tonight. The following is an updated account of the incident that occurred today at 2627 South 17th Street this afternoon. On today's date, May 27, 2020, deputies of the Grand Forks County Sheriff's Office attempted to serve an eviction related paperwork upon Salama Q. Pendleton, 41 year old resident of this address in apartment number 303. During this service attempt, Salama Pendleton initiated gunfire against deputies on scene. The two deputies called for emergency assistance and officers from multiple agencies, including the Grand Forks Police Department, responded. At this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Chief Mark Nelson with Grand Forks Police Department. Thank you, Sheriff Schneider. The remainder of what you would have seen in the press release states that during the incident that ensued, two Grand Forks Sheriff's Office deputies, two Grand Forks PD officers, and Mr. Pendleton and a female were all in the apartment. During the course of this incident, Mr. Pendleton received gunfire injuries and was transported and is being treated at All True Hospital. The female occupant received fatal gunfire injuries. The Grand Forks County Sheriff's Office deputy received non-threatening gunfire injuries and is in stable condition at all true. Unfortunately, one Grand Forks PD officer received fatal gunfire injuries and did not survive. Names of the involved individuals will be released tomorrow to fully permit family notifications. I would like to just close this with some thoughts. I want to personify these people. These people wear a badge. These people protect your community. These people ask for nothing in return other than an honest salary. These people were parents. These people are brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers that do this nationwide. I will tell you as a chief, there's a hole in my heart that could never be plugged. I want you to know that not only did the Grand Forks Police Department lose an officer, the city of Grand Forks lost a community member. The Grand Forks Sheriff's Office will never be the same based upon the injuries to their deputy and what he witnessed as our officer suffered his fatal injuries. Remember, it is not how this officer died. It is how this officer lived that made him a true hero. I would like to close in saying, please keep the officer's family in your thoughts and prayers, and keep all law enforcement officers' families in your thoughts and prayers as they continuously and tirelessly go out and do the job. Right now, Grand Forks police officers, even after losing one of their own, are on the street protecting the citizens of Grand Forks. And I think that's something that I should be grateful for and the entire citizenry should be grateful for. And I also want to say it's something that doesn't get taken lightly by the, lightly by the city. I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Brown, City Administrator Todd Phelan for their support. Um, we're fortunate, you're fortunate, to live in a community that values their public safety personnel and the people behind the badge. It's very easy to be a number and an HR payroll. It's a different thing when you personify that person that wears a uniform. And one of my officers, one of my family members of this law enforcement family paid the ultimate price to keep us safe. And it's something I don't take lightly. So I thank you for your time. Um, myself and Sheriff Schneider would stand for any questions that we may be able to answer at this time. Can you, can you speak at all as to what possibly motivated this guy? You know, it's, it's unknown at this time, and I guess what I want to make clear is, on an incident like this, since both of our agencies were involved, we are not running the criminal investigation portion of this. That is the North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation that are running it. Um, I do anticipate that, and we'll make sure you guys get ample notice that we'll do another press conference tomorrow once we ensure 
all the proper family notifications have been made and see what else at working with the BCI, what we would be able to release, even though it's an active and ongoing investigation. Yeah. How are the officers and deputies holding up tonight? Um, everyone experiences grief in their own way, and I think we run the gamut, to be totally honest with you. It's, some people are under the misnomer that when you go through a police academy that you come out a robot, you actually come out as a human being. And when you come out as a human being, um, how you're experiencing this situation is gonna vary from person to person. I, I will tell you it's very somber, it's very subdued, but like everything else, the quiet, consummate professional rises to the surface and they continue to do their job. Yes, Are you saying that the bomb squad is at the residence? Uh, can you tell us what the work they're doing? Um, in essence, when you're executing, I know part of that is just when we're executing a search warrant and we're unsure what, if anything, may be in there, they have tools that we can use, such as robots or other things, to go in and look and ensure they can go into places we don't have to send an officer. So that's just, that's not uncommon in a search warrant, so we just are using it as a precaution. Can you be any more specific about what happened in that apartment or that waits? Not at this time. It's not my investigation, Neil, and I honestly have not even seen a written document that that talks about what's going on, so okay. it, I would be purely speculation and conjecture, and I'm not willing to go there at this time. The female, adult, child? Uh, I'm not going to release that at this time either, Matt. Um, like I said, once we, um, once, uh, we get make sure all the families have been notified th that kind of information will come out at a later date but at this point in time I i'm not prepared to release that can you say where the officers were when they were shot were they inside the apartment building apartment or outside in the parking lot um, once again matt i'm not going to discuss anything dealing with the actual incident in and of itself um <coughs> like i said i want to make it perfectly clear i'll be totally honest with you if i want to look and say What's the purpose of this press conference? The purpose of this press conference is to honor an officer that paid the ultimate sacrifice, and we'll work through the details. But the focus needs to remain on the families and the agencies and the assisting agencies of those officers that were either injured or killed doing their duty. Something to remember, Chief. Uh, this doesn't happen very often, but when was the last time one of your members 